Hi, and welcome to Quantitative Comparisons. This is an important part of the math section on the GRE, and today we're going to take a look at one strategy for comparing two values without having to do complex or exact math. Let's take a look at this question. In column A, we have 7 over 20, and in column B, we have 29 over 90. Now, the GRE asks us to compare these two values to tell which one is greater. So, one tool that we can use is comparing each value to a similar reference value or a value that they are very close to and that they have in common. And let's take a look at how that works. So for column A, 7 over 20 is a fraction that we can't reduce and it looks like it's kind of a fraction that might give us a complex decimal if we were to try to actually divide it out. But there is a fraction that we can reduce that is very close to 7 over 20, and that would be 7 over 21. Now 7 over 20 as compared to 7 over 21. Since 20 is smaller, whenever you have a smaller denominator, that means that your total value will actually be larger. So in this case, 7 over 20 is greater than 7 over 21. The reason that's important is because 7 over 21 is one-third. Now let's see if we can take that reference value and find a similar comparison for column B. 29 over 90 is very close to 30 over 90. And the reason 30 over 90 is an important fraction to see here is because that is also one-third. So we have the same reference value for both questions. We're comparing each one to a common value of one-third, and it makes it easier to compare both columns to each other. So now let's take a look. 29 is less than 30, and since that's in our numerator, then that means our fraction, 29 over 90, will actually be less than 30 over 90. So in comparison to that reference value of one-third, 7 over 20 is greater than 1 third, and 29 over 90 is less than 1 third. So if we have to decide between columns A and B, which one is greater? Well, column A in this case is greater than 1 third, and column B is less, so column A has to be greater than column B. And that would leave us with answer choice A. We can go ahead and pick that answer choice without having to write out complex calculations or do long division to get the answer correct. For more information on practice GRE questions, please look at our other YouTube videos or visit our website at www.sandersontestprep.com.